Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Fireman Dan, and I am super excited to do this video because I am going to be showing you what is probably the 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 best mod that has ever came out for Space Engineers. And unfortunately, there's also going to be a bit of a rant because the modding community has to do what Keen was supposed to be doing this whole time. So Keen, get off your flipping ass. What is this mod? <laughs> this is Survival Subgrid Projections. Survival Subgrid Projections. What does this do? Well, have you ever found yourself wanting to build subgrids or a rotor turret? And this is absolutely freaking stupid looking, but it, I built it for the sake of this video. And, well, yes, I've always wanted to build subgrades on ships, whether it be VTOL ships with thrust vectoring or, or tanks or whatever. Watch this. Let me get rid of that. Grab a welder here. Weld that up. From here, you would either have to have your turret built separately and kind of like maneuver it in place and attach it. Or put another projector on top and paste it in a completely separate blueprint. But watch this. Let me access this rotor. Project subgrid. Look what just happened. Now let's load this up. I just got to rotor number two. Let me go to my elevation rotor. Project subgrid. I have just built my very stupid looking rotor turret with subgrids. With a single a single projection. Technically more than one, but when I would have built this in survival mode, I would have to place one single solitary projector. That's it. This is something that Keen should have implemented a long time ago. If you go and check on the request page on the forums, there were several topics about, hey, let us build subgrid with a projector. And it has been under consideration for two years. Keen, get off your flipping ass. And to the modder who made this, go, I don't even want to go la. I don't even want to attempt to pronounce that. I'll butcher it. Thank you so much. So how does this work? Well, first off, let me grab the part. Let me grab some parts here. So I will grab a rotor. You need your a projector. No, wait. You don't need a projector. I'm sorry. So I'll grab a rotor, Gatling turret. And light armor block. I'll come in here, I'll turn this projector off so you don't see nothing. Alright, so you build your base, whatever you're building. It could be the base of a tank, whatever, something. Build your base. Next up, you place either a hinge or a rotor, in this case, a rotor. And I'm going to name this so I don't get them confused. And a lot of scripts when you use these rotor turrets, you gotta name them anyways. All right, I'm gonna name it. From here, come down to the bottom and hit project subgrid. All this does, it will automatically put on a projector for you. Then you build to your next piece. Whatever it is you're gonna you're going to build, right? Now I'm doing this in creative mode, obviously, but this does work in survival. And I'm, I build an X piece, right? And then I will throw my elevation rotor on here. And then I'll repeat the process. Project subgrid. And this piece comes up. And then you just finish 
whatever you're doing. From here, you need to store them. And you start with the furthest most subgrid from your main grid. So that would be the furthest most sub subgrid right here, right? So I come into that rotor, my elevation rotor, and hit store subgrid. The next one would be this subgrid right here, right? Working back and backward. So it would be my azimuth rotor. Come into my azimuth rotor and hit store subgrid. And then you take make a regular blueprint. I call this test. I hit replace on it. Now I have my blueprint. That's all you have to do to make this. Now whenever you do, I have to add, whenever you build this, whenever you use this mod, you need to build your creation with the mod enabled. Okay? Let me say that again. You need to build your creation with the mod enabled. So if you already have a ship with the subgrids on it, rotor turrets, something of that nature, unfortunately you are going to have to rebuild your turrets. That's the only downside. You could probably get away with going into creative mode and cutting them off and then just pasting your turret back on and then store the subgrid. So you may not have to redo the whole thing, but unfortunately the way it works, like I said, you gotta build it with it, with the mod enabled. So from here, I, as you've seen, I created a blueprint. All I gotta do is just build it, right? So let's get rid of this. So I built my base, right? Let me get a projector. Let me get a projector. Throw a projector on here. Okay, I'm ready to build my turret head. Where my projector? Blueprints. Test. And as you see, and I got the warning, multiple subgrids are not supported. And that is fine. Uh, come on, my projector. Let's move it, maneuver this into position. Uh, I can't tell. Oh, wrong way. And forward. Okay. Smell water. So, I got my projection in. I'm ready to build my turret head. I built my azimuth rotor, right? Come in here. Azimuth. Project upgrade. Just build, build the base up. I'm ready to build my gun. Come in here. Elevation. Next upgrades. And boom, I am done. Finally. <laughs> There's something we've all been waiting for. And I have to note, this does work between worlds. Okay? I built this blueprint in world A. Saved it. Created a completely different world. With the mod enabled. I came in here, I pasted it in, and it worked. So it does work between worlds. So as long as it's, as long as this isn't mods enabled, you can go to, from world to world to world to world. And it also works in survival. I'm doing it in creative because I don't have to worry about components when I'm building this, but it does work in survival mode. So once again, build your build your grid, right? Build your ship, tank, rover, whatever. Build your base, put down a rotor or piston or even a hinge, and hit project subgrid. Build the next part, project subgrid, and then store from the furthest one back. And even this, just to show you this, hinge, piston. Piston, project subgrid, hinge, project subgrid. So as you see, it works. All right. The only catch I would prob I would see that where this would probably cause issues and not work properly is if you had this piston on this hinge 
and you were trying to connect the piston to this uh, subgrid right here. And also, as you see here, it automatically put the conveyor on for you because the hinge is conveyored and the rotor or the piston is conveyored. You may not want that, you may not want it, but it's just one block. You'll live, <laughs> trust me, you'll live. But it's a good thing because if you're trying to make welders or something or mining mining arms, it automatically comes with the connection for it. Uh, also, I got a note that where it says right here, turn on automatically projects upgrade. So whatever you build will automatically come up. That's all there is to it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I, I really hope you, I, I hope you're excited as I am about this because no more of this. No more building your creation, pasting them on, and then playing Legos. No more. Now you can do everything like we were supposed to do it. Keen, get off your ass. Ladies and gentlemen, Fireman Dan, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and I highly suggest you check out this mod and start using it. The link will be in the description below. I will see you guys next time on Face Engineers.